All right, welcome this morning to the eight hour air management hands-on training class. My name is Phil Jost. I'm a battalion chief in the Seattle Fire Department. I've been teaching this class for about eight to 10 years. The 75% that you're given is designed that that's your work cycle. That's for entry, work, and exit. The emergency reserve time, that's, that was always supposed to be a set aside in case something bad happened, right? That was always supposed to be that way, even though we didn't adopt it that way when it came to the fire service. So let's look at this. This is a uh, layout from the Wooster Cold Storage Building. This is just one of the, one of the floors, right? And uh, this is 100 by 75, or even a little bit bigger in some sections. Look at this section here. What are the odds that you're going to take a 30-minute cylinder and complete a primary search in there? What are the, what are the, what's the opportunity for getting lost? You, could you get lost in there in the middle of the day? Yeah. 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 So this is, this is the type of thing where we want to say, hey, you know what? Uh, we need to leave ourselves a margin for error. That's all we're saying is leave yourself a margin for error. In case something goes wrong, most of the time we know how to get in and out. That's great. Maintain our margin for safety. But if something goes wrong, we want to have a little bit of a margin. And that's what we're talking about with error management is one, keep a track so you know how much you have, right? That's part of it. And part of it is uh, leaving yourself a margin for error. Any questions about the prop? Sure. All right, let's go to work. You guys ready? Okay, let's, uh, as soon as you're ready, let's clip in and we'll hop in here. Nozzle straight across over there. Nozzles right over, straight across, right over there. Command engine four go. Come here, see, blow half or our way out. Company decision. Right, so and that's a really strong, I mean, that's really insightful too, because what you don't want is that person who's under the, the stress, right? Theoretically, they could be under the most, um, a lot of times they're also under a lot of physical stress, which is why they're the lowest, right? Because they maybe have been working hard or they're, they're at a little more max of their, you know, ability to do work while they're on air, right? Regardless of how much work it was, normally they're, they're breathing pretty hard at that point in time. So putting them in the decision-making which is that person who's leading out is choosing, you know, which line to follow, which way the couplings are going. I mean, there's a lot of mental energy being expended there. And so it's really insightful to not have, think about not having that person who's already under maybe a stress load from being low on air, but also a physically demanding load, which is why they're low on air to begin with sometimes. So good. Good job. Any other thoughts from that first rotation?